Hi friends, Right Careers welcomes you to another brand new video. This is Yes Sudarshan, your career coach. Now yesterday, most of the students in India who aspired to study medicine would have given the all important NEET exam, right? Now medicine, as we all know, is one of the most sought after and most in demand program in India, especially for Indian students, right? Now many students uh, who wish to uh, study MBBS or medicine, start preparing right from their grade 9 and then take physics, chemistry, biology group and then religiously prepare for NEET and give NEET and then take medicine as a career. The first thing, you know, that comes to anyone's mind when it comes to medical or medicine or medical education is definitely MBBS. But then, you know, we all are glued or in love with that program that we forget there are, you know, other programs too, you know, medicine as an education or as an academia is much, much bigger than MBBS that as we all think. Now, due to limited knowledge, we all think that MBBS is the only program, but then there are quite a few uh, that if not, uh, you know, more than medicine and it comes to the uh, academia, at least at par with MBBS, I would say. Definitely, there are programs that are at par with MBBS. Now, if you're hell-bent on a career about medicine, that you would want to become a doctor, then this video is definitely for you. And the topic that we have taken is a comparison video, a comparison between four programs, you know, that are very closely related to medicine. Obviously, the first one is MBBS, which is we all know. And then I have taken BDS and then we have taken BAMS and BHMS. We will see all those four in detail, but then I have taken this four. Now, there are a few other programs, you know, that are also there when it comes to making medicine as a career. For example, Yunani or Siddha or even veterinary, veterinary sciences. So these are some of the programs which can also be included. But then for wanting of time and also for the popularity among students, I have taken these four programs and compared these four programs uh, so that, you know, it gets better clarity as a student. Now, let me put it very, very clear that all these programs that I have mentioned, be it MBBS or BDS or BAMS, BHMS or, or Siddha, Yunani or even veterinary sciences, you can prefix doctor before your name. So that doctor so-and-so is done if you study any of these programs and you can very well practice as a medical practitioner. That's the first thing that I would like to clear. Now, before we get on to what are the differences or comparison between these four programs, it's vital that we know on what basis the comparison is made. We will start with the nomenclature difference, which is the name of the program, the basic difference, and then we will move to the course duration, how long the courses, uh, each courses are, and then we'll move what are the career opportunities that exist, you know, in, in after you pursue these programs, what are the academic opportunities that exist after you pursue this program, and then the selection process, right? How do you select and what are the parameters for selection, etc. And finally, which one that you should take is something which we will see at the end of the video. So watch the video in full so that you get to know everything in detail. Now let's move on. The first difference or the first comparison will be the basic comparison, which is the nomenclature comparison that I call. It's about the, <clears throat> the name of the program. As we all know, MBBS, it stands for Bachelor of Surgery and Bachelor of Medicine. That's the basic program. When you study MBBS, you become a doctor and then you treat the so-called English medicine, right? You become a doctor. That's the first uh, thing. And then moving on to the second one, which is BDS. It is nothing but bachelor's of dental surgery. As the name itself suggests, it's about studying of dentistry base. It's also one of the most sought after program. Perhaps in the pecking order, it comes number two after MBBS, I would say. So that's BDS. And then the third one is BAMS, also called as Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine and Surgery. So it's a degree, once again, in the area of medicine, but then it teaches the traditional Indian way of, you know, curing or medicine in the form of Ayurveda. So that's the third one. And then the last one, fourth one is BHMS, which is nothing but Bachelors of Homeopathic Medicine and Surgery. As the name itself suggests, this is a branch of medicine, which, uh, you know, teaches you the traditional Indian homeopathic way. I'm sure you would have heard about homeopathy doctors. So this treats about the, uh, teaches about the homeopathic way. So these are the basic first difference i would say between the four programs moving on the second one is about the course duration now when we start with the program the academic program i'm only talking about bachelor's here not into the masters the bachelor program mbbs runs uh, for five and a half years in these five and a half years four and a half years is dedicated to classroom teaching whereas the next one year the last one year is dedicated to 
internship now only when you complete this internship you are awarded as the as a doctor right so it's a five and a half year program the second bds is a five year program now in this five years four years is dedicated to classroom and then the last one year it's internal internship or practical so mbbs was five and a half bds is five we will see what bams and bhms has offer both these programs are five and a half years wherein four and a half years is dedicated to classroom teaching and one year is for practical so that is the course duration ka difference five and a half five five and a half five so that's the difference moving on to the third difference what are the career opportunities that exist for you once you pursue this program now after mbbs it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward right you become a doctor you become a specialist doctor mbbs general practitioner you call you become a physician you become a surgeon you can also become medical professor or lecturer in in a, in a college or medical school etc so that's after mbbs similarly after bds you can become a dental surgeon you can become a dentist even in dentist you have you know oral and maxillofacial surgery all those things and then you have oral surgeon you have orthodontic pedo dentric so on and so forth you can specialize you can also become a professor in you know the dental college it's quite popular profession most of the dentists who i know and they practice in the evenings they teach in the morning quite a good money about it that's the second one the third one definitely is bams after bams you can practice you can work for government uh, you know hospitals uh, you can practice on your own you can also become a lecturer so similar is with bhms where you can become a doctor you can practice for government but then the catch with the last two there is bams and bhms ayurveda and homeopathy is you can simultaneously be a pharmacist you can be a doctor come pharmacist right most of the places you would have seen it's the pharmacy first they sell ayurvedic products they sell homeopathic products doctor sits in the pharmacy unlike you know allopathy or dental where they don't sit in the pharmacy here a doctor acts as both as a doctor and as a pharmacist so that's some kind of career opportunity for all the four moving on to the next segment what are the higher education opportunities that exist after you know all these four programs definitely after mbbs it's md or ms masters in science or you know masters in doctorate or, or i mean for to get into this you have to take pg neat similar to ug neat you also have a pg neat now you might ask me a question why should i study post graduation and doctor it's pretty straightforward uh, for all the students who are watching this video if you are getting you know ailment and cold such as cold or cough or fever what do you do you visit a mbbs doctor whereas you have something you know unique uh, you, your, you, your your gray area lies in the heart where do you go you go to a you consult a cardiologist if it's a pediatrician if a child related thing what do you do you consult a pediatrician if it's a ear related or i have you know throat related nose related you consult an e ent so on and so forth right if it's fracture you consult an ortho so you know you specialize you consult specialist specialists when it comes to uh, the complicated problems right therefore the, the i mean there is no other option for students to pursue a masters at any cost because that's when you grow in your career so for mbbs you got to take uh, study md for which you got to take pg neat similarly for bds you got to study mds masters in dental surgeon for which there is no need but then there is an exam called all india post graduate dental entrance examination which is called as aipg dee you have to take this and then get into dental you also you know after bams similarly you can pursue your masters in ayurveda and homeopathy also you also you can pursue masters in homeopathy but then these last two professionals what they also do is they also diverse little bit and then take pursue programs like regenerative medicine masters in regenerative medicines or masters in science and psychiatry also they study homeopathy and psychiatry ayurveda and psychiatry so they become dually specialized right and then even endocrinology they study so it's huge in terms of higher education opportunity moving on to the next segment which is the admission procedure it's vital and it's important that you take physics chemistry biology there is no second thought you got to take pcd in your 11 and 12 and score the minimum requested to become a doctor that's the first one the second one for all programs all four programs need is compulsory there is no way escaping from need so need is compulsory and then for homeopathy alone after need you got to take an interview right so these are the admission procedure ka difference now the all important segment which one you should go for now it's a it's not a million dollar question it's pretty straight forward if you are if you get an mbbs seat most of the students prefer mbbs seat because there are more mbbs doctors in india so it's straight forward if you get mbbs people choose mbbs but then if you don't 
as always said you have a bds as an option you can consider bds again a very good profession uh, there is no doubt mbbs has slight edge over others because i told you number of doctors are more there right uh, ayurveda definite yes you can take because you know these days people prefer indian way of treating there is no side effects and things like that and definitely ayurveda has its own plus i would say especially the last couple of years when the government has come forward and set up a ministry called ministry of ayush where they have given approval and nod for ayurveda postgraduate uh, doctors to perform surgery you know which is a remarkable judgment i would say so with that the growth of ayurveda is also increasing and then with regards to homeopathy let me also tell you homeopathy is a great career but then a word of caution the academic part of homeopathy is as difficult as mbbs it is not a cakewalk so if you are willing to take that load of academia then mbb um, you you may consider pursuing homeopathy right now as always you know uh, in the segment you have to understand that for pcb student medicine is not the only you know way forward or that's not the end of the world there are various other programs which you have already seen and the links are below mentioned below in the video and that's all i have for this week and until next week uh, with another brand new video see you all take care have a safe week thank you